What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I want to talk to you about secondary entry points for the homebrew launcher. Now if you just recently installed Arpone G and now have access to the homebrew launcher, then I want you to watch this so that you do not lose access to the homebrew launcher in the future. secondary entry point I'm going to be showing you today is using Ocarina of Time 3D. Now you can use the physical cartridge version of this or the eShop download. If you recently installed Arpone G and used the Homebrew Starter Kit, then you already have OotHack's installer ready to go on your 3DS. All you need is the game. I have the eShop download version on my 3DS, so I'm going to be showing you how to use that one although it is pretty much the same process if you have the cartridge. I just want to mention a couple other secondary entry points in case you guys want to do a little bit of research into them after the video. I can't promise I'll have a tutorial on all of them, but I will attempt to maybe use Steel Driver Sub Wars, which is a free game from the eShop that you can download. Make sure you don't download the update, you just download Steel Driver Sub Wars, and then you can go ahead and use Steel Hacks to install a secondary entry point for the Homebrew Launcher. I will put a link to Steel Hacks in the description in case you wanted a little bit more information on it. I will try to make a video about it in the near future here so that you can have another secondary entry point. Another secondary entry point that I know for sure is working on 11.5 is Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now you can go ahead and install what they call base hacks. I'll put a link in the description to it. Essentially you're going to have to be far enough in the game to already have a secret base or install a save file that is far enough in the game to have a secret base. And then once you open up the game, you'll change the name of your secret base and it will go ahead and launch the homebrew launcher. So if you have Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, make sure you check out the link in the description so you guys can maybe get that set up as your secondary entry point. We're down here on the 3DS. You can see I have Zelda selected. Now, if you have save data for Zelda that you care about, I'm going to put a link to JKSM in the description, and you can go ahead and launch that with Homebrew and back up your save file in case you wanted to do that. I do not have a save file currently, so I'm going to be starting fresh. And if you don't care about your save file, then you should also do this to start fresh. So after you've gone and backed up, go ahead and launch The Legend of Zelda, hit the A button, and then press all of the buttons A, B, X, and Y at the same time, and this will bring up a save data little management screen. So here we are. It says delete all the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D save data. Go ahead and hit A on erase, and then go back over here. It'll try to psych you out and switch the buttons, and it'll say delete save data. It'll all be lost permanently. Go ahead and hit A. So now all the saved data has been deleted. I'm going to hit back. Now go ahead and press the home button and close out of that. Now go ahead and launch Arpone G and I'll meet you guys in the homebrew launcher. Now that you have the homebrew launcher open, scroll down until you see Sploit Installer Oot 3D Hacks and go ahead and click on it. Now that you have the Sploit installer open, go ahead and press the A button. Now it's going to ask you to select a save slot in Ocarina of Time. Now there's three save slots. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the first one. So I'm just going to hit the A button. Now it has auto detected my version and it says press A to continue. Go ahead and press the A button. So it will ask me to select my firmware. So I'm going to hit this one right here. New 3DS 11.5. Now it's downloading the payload, installed the payload, and it is successfully installed. Now go ahead and press the start button. Now go ahead and press the start button and the A button to return to the home menu. Now you are free to go ahead and launch The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Press the start button and once you get to the loading screen, you should see a save file called hacks. 
go ahead and load it, but don't press any buttons once the save has loaded. So once the save has loaded, you should be in Link's treehouse. Now the A button should already say check for you to interact with his bed. Now if you go ahead and press the A button, then the homebrew launcher should launch. So I'm going to hit A. So now you should have Oot Hacks as an entry point for the homebrew launcher. If Arpone G happens to get patched in the future, then have no fear. You can now use your Ocarina of Time to launch into homebrew. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are now protected from any Arpone G updates that Nintendo might drop, God forbid. Make sure you slam that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. I have a lot more content coming. I honest to goodness can't bring it out fast enough for you guys. If you want me to start uploading more than one video a day, go down to the comments and let me know and I will see what I can do. Much love. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.